gate to uh, the doubleheader between Farmington Lady Cardinals and the Clarksville Lady Panthers. Clarksville and Cleveland doing their last minute warm ups, just taking them just throwing balls and stuff, fish for them. Up. And uh, this game will get ready to start in probably uh, about a minute or so. Looks like uh, Coach Austin has changed the lineup once again. Wallace is going to be leading off this game with McKnight getting in the number two spot and Kelly Harper in the number three spot. So he switched it up again. Wallace uh, had a pretty good game the first game, so they may, I don't know, they may try to pitch around her in the game two, so he moves from number one. I don't know. Maybe he wants to get, to get started real early. Wallace well, definitely provides a spark for the offense whenever she bats. Yeah, she hit, I think, in the last three or four games of the Rogers or the Conway tournament, she let off. So she let off the other night, too. So she seems to hit wherever you put her. So we'll see if we can get things started with Wallace. Bounces for the Lady Cardinals. 
Cameron Verdigan will come in to run for Reed. Madison Pearson going to be the batter. With a chance to score a run for first. If she can just get out of the infield and not create any kind of double play. We got one out, is that correct? That's correct. She's going to lay down a bone here. Fouls it off. Get the speedy McKnight at third. Coach Austin's in the, in the Cardinals like, they love to squeeze in this situation, especially when they have some of their speedy players on third. And they'll lay it down with two strikes. It doesn't matter to them. They just they want to score to put the pressure on the other team. One on the count. And she's putting again. That's way high. Jernigan's going to take second, so we've got a second, third situation for the Lady Cardinals. There's one out. In the top of the first. One nothing, Lady Cardinals. Harris gets the sign and steps in. She's looking to drive it the other way. That's going to hit her. That's going to load the bases for the Lady Cardinals. Again, this these Lady Panza pitchers letting the, the inside pitch is probably the hardest one because you still got to come around and snap. If the elbow hits the hip and you don't snap, it's going to go inside, way inside every time. Paige's anniversary of the matter. Playing shortstop this game. She's squared around the time. She's going to slap it. She slaps it, taps the third. Nice play by the third baseman. On the home for the fourth. So base is still loaded, two outs, one and the Lady Cardinals. Anna Bennett comes up. Anna Bennett transferred to Warren in the offseason. She's been a good addition for the Lady Cardinals. She catches, she plays short, plays second, plays outfield, and she runs bases very well. And she can hit with a little power, so we'll see what she can do with two outs. That's high and away, but it's all one. Base is full of Lady Cardinals. Lady Cardinals trying to scratch out a few runs here in the first inning. And the 1 0 to Bennett. That's a little away. Almost hits her. 2 0.
Cardinals finish the warm up. And following the ball around and shake hands a little bit and go to their positions. A couple of defensive changes defensively. Um, Brooke B.R. Smith, the junior, will be pitching. Pace first, reason short, and a minute, so second. No, but Brooke's missing. Senior Brooke's missing second. So she is. Yeah, it's an interesting lineup. We are only pitching for the Cardinals. Key leads off the. They had a lineup change as well. Key's going to lead off for the, uh, the catcher for the Lady Panthers. Probably one of the more athletic players in this team. She had a home run cut, but she chops the foul on the third baseline. Yeah, we're come set. And here's the 01. That's hit hard. Could be gone. Oh, oh it's a call. <laughs> the game, the night night slams against the wall. Almost has the catch. It bounces back and they get it back. But she's in for a double. Yeah, Key's one of the league leaders in hitting. I think she's got three home runs on the year, and that one was. I thought it was gone. It went all his way. She tagged it. But the pitch, the pitch was. All play. All play. So after two pitches, we're seeing a visit from Coach Osmond. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's got, got to keep, keep the ball down. She has. Yeah. So the coach is not happy right now. No, that he can he can uh, burn you. There's no doubt. She's a she's a strong athletic girl, and that's obviously the pitch she wanted. At the knees. And, and the wind blowing in, so. And almost a good play by the uh, by the night out center. And this batter button, this batter button foul. And they brought another runner in for uh, number six for Sydney Key. In the dirt. Keep going. Go down the corner and knock on. The Panthers have a little something good. Here in the bottom of the first. No outs will run their third. The Lady Panthers. Number nine is Jake Patterson. Jake Patterson at the back. Swing and a strike. And then the count is one ball and two strikes. We are quickly ahead. Trying to keep the runner at third. And here comes the one, two. That's a good pitch there for a strikeout. Yeah, after the year four, she wants to keep the ball down right now. He's doing a pretty good job. The last several pitches have been at the knees or lower. One out for the Lady Cardinals. Runner on third. On the first. Nice pitch on the outside. And he gives it to her. Late call. Late call, but he gives it to her. 0 and 1. I would hate to run on Paris. Paris is one of our freshman class that just got an incredible arm and covers a lot of ground out there. That ball was kind of an inferior and with the wind ball and maybe even more difficult. Good catch by Mattis Paris. And I, I would like to see her challenge her on that, on that throw because there's another chance. Somebody's got to get there. That's going to drop. So the runner will score. Another in-betweener right there, but to the other side, to the right side. 
drop just behind, behind Brooks Smith in front of the outfielders. So the Lady Panthers, Panthers get on the board. The score is now two to one. Two outs. Two outs for the Lady Panthers. Number 21. Sage. Sage John is up to bat. Three yards to the outside for a count of one and oh. John showing by probably pull back. Takes a strike low. One on. He was the other one. Now we are just gonna keep shooting his feet ball right there. He's getting fly out, ball out as he wants. He grounds, he walk, fly balls. John calls timeout, steps out. Back with you, Lady Cardinal fans. We're in the top of the third. Top of the second. Top of the second. We just finished the first. Top of the second. Okay. Brooke Smith's going to lead it off for the Lady Cardinals. Brooke playing second tonight. Right down the middle for a strike. Brooke's another one of those girls that are just long, lean, and strong, and can hit it a long way. She, she likes that pitch a little up and away. That pitch hits Brooke. She's going to take a base. We're at the top of the order, Brandy Wallace. The wind blowing kind of out right to left. Wallace, we'll look to continue her good night. Takes a few deep breaths and steps in. And the pitch. Down the middle on the outside corner. First strike, hold one. There you go, roped in there. Roped in there. Skipped past the left fielder. Into, into foul territory. Smith's going to score. 
Wallace hustling in third, slides into third, hard slide. Stands up for what you might say a triple, but it may be a double and an error, but just knocked the cover off the ball. So hard the left fielder couldn't handle it. Sometimes you see the ball, sometimes you don't. Obviously seeing the ball today in the last few days. So. Oh, nice bunt, nice jump. She's gonna sacrifice the runner in. And Wallace is gonna go in standing. A bit of a late break for Wallace, but makes it home nonetheless. A nice bunt, that was a little drag bunt down the first base line. And tough to get the speedy McKnight. Bases are empty for Kelly Harper. Nice job right there. Good play from short. Chopped it almost between third and short. Short loved it and got it over to first. So out number two.
Six to one, Lady Cardinals. Here in the top of the second. Two outs, runner on second. Bennett, late. Skips away. And the person will take third on the skipped away ball. Well, the cat will be full. So Bennett's going to have to. Here's the two, three, two. It's in the dirt for a ball. And the senior Takiya McDaniel is coming up. Again, needs to hit it hard at somebody where it'll skip away or between or over somebody as a slapper. Away for a strike to the senior left fielder. There's a nice pitch, and that's, that's what she needed right there. That's going to hit the line. Bennett's going to go to second. And the key is in there for a stand-up double. And that's what we're talking about, hitting out front. That's a result. That's, that was an outside pitch. It hit out front and squared up on. And, and that ball's foul. I thought it hit the line, but it, it hit just foul. Straighten out. That's what we need. Swing and a strike there and a pickoff attempt to first. Very close over there. Back with you, Lady Cardinal fans. To the bottom of the second, it's Lady Cardinal six, the Lady Panthers zero. Leading off for the Megan Payne. Megan Payne, double zero. And here comes the yard pitch. Late call, blowing inside, but a strike. Hold on to Megan Payne. And here's the one on the outside corner for a strike. On two, we are quickly ahead. On two, she'll keep it low and working around outside. She'll be fine. And the O2 from VR. 
right to the outside, just a bit outside. One and two. Captain BR on the first. Very easy play. Very easy inning. No hits. No runs. No runs. One hit. One hit. No errors. One set up. Six to one. Lady Cardinals going to the third inning.
Yeah, we're back line with Lady Cardinal fans. Sydney Key, the catcher, got a little off the did some real damage the last time she was up. She taps with Wallace third. Wallace on the first. Is gun He does not get cheated up there, I can guarantee you that. She's looking for anything close to drive. She's going to be going to the University of Ozarks over here the next fall. Play softball, so good for her. Number nine will be the batter. Just fouled. Hammered. Hammered a lost glove over there. Number nine, the... Oh, she's the center fielder. Jane Patterson. Jaden Patterson, Jane Patterson number nine, hammered over the third base glove. Look foul. She's looking for another pitch like that. On one to get Patterson. Up. Almost, almost swung at it, but one on one to count to Patterson. We are taking our time. And the one line. Right down the middle. Hot foul out of play. Wallace hustled, hustled over the way out of play. One, two to pass. Right down the middle, pop foul back our way. Patterson stays alive one and two. One out here in the top, in the bottom of the third, six to one Lady Cardinals. And the one two for the R. High for all, nice stab by Melissa Reed. Patterson back in there quickly. And awaits the 2 2. Right down the middle, foul back our way again. Against the three. Patterson stays alive with 2 2. Yeah, 
And we're back with the Lady Cardinal fans. Kelly Harper's going to start off the top of the fourth. So we're six to one. Top of the fourth. Harper coming off here in the last game. A couple of hits. Looking to start things off for the Lady Cardinals. Swing, strike, forward. Kelly Harper. And the 01. And they're going to the Reed waiting on deck. Skip top of the hit hard, skip top the short stop plug. Kind of overran it. Kind of went to the right and overran it, got out of position. That's going to put Harbor on. Reed coming to the plate, no outs. Madison Parrish for weights. Nice. Here. In front of the left fielders. For a single for Alyssa Reed. So the Lady Cardinals trying to get something going here. In the top half of the four. This is all of the fearsome coming in run of three. There's a nice little pistol right into center field. Both runners really kind of hold, had to hold up. To let it drop because uh, the shortstop's made a few plays out there. The base is loaded for Hayes to grocery. There's no outs in the top of the fourth. And the Cardinals trying to scratch out a few more runs. There's a nice hit there. That's going to be caught. It's going to be 
going to be deep enough to score Harper. She dives in. The runners are going to advance on the throw, so it's second and third. Coming out. And a nice little RBI. Two RBI at that for Paige Mercer to add her totals. So that's going to make it 7 1 for the Lake Cardinals. One goal, second, third. And Pinley is going to be the batter. In the third for all, one of the Anna Three to four. Just about the letters. At the letters, I thought it was fine. Another delay call. One on one to Anna Bennett. That ball is down in the dirt. Second base will try to come up and make a play. But it just got in front of So the base is going to be loaded for Cameron Dirk. Bailey Purifoy taking a beat. <laughs> 
She lifts down the purse. And we're going to get a little more. That may be the knee she slid on. I don't know. I think it is. She's walking out a little gingerly. We're going to get Brooke Smith running for uh, Kayla Purifoy. Kayla Purifoy.
And we're back with the Lady Cardinal fans. Starting off the bottom of the fourth is Megan Payne. Megan Payne, number zero. Playing shortstop tonight. VAR comes set, and here's the pitch. Nice low pitch. For a ball. Close for a ball. 1 0. Megan Payne. Inside for a strike. That'll leave the count of one. No out. Top of the fourth. And the one one. The recovery. Nice recovery. Bobble off the chest of Wallace. The recovery. Guns are out of first. Speedy runner. Nice throw over there. Nice recovery. Stayed with the ball, kept it in front of her. Kept her feet moving toward first. And we need those outs. When you get a good pitch like that, you need those ground ball outs. But hit hard nonetheless by Payne. Brings up Shan Miller, the left fielder for the Panthers. And we are going to keep the ball down. Another ball down. Good job. Foul out of play down the third baseline. Seems to be manipulating the ball with a, with a big one, just like uh, the Herschel was. Putting that spin where it's just dying. We are doing a really good job of keeping it low the last, last few innings. She's turned that one. She spun and turned that one over, so she's trying to make it go in the dirt to, to get a, a ground ball or a fly pop up. One on the count. Nice pitch. That's going to be right in Parrish's tracks. Foul number two. Nice job. Nice pitch. Nice catch all around. Two outs for the Lady Panthers. And number four. Twenty-two is going to be coming to bat. Bailey Phillips. Lady Cardinals. 
strides, going to the pitch, low for the ball. Clearly not happy. Just 
two outs with a two on for Wallace. And Wallace is hit through the lineup, Evan. Yeah, Wallace is four for four. Three singles and a triple. And Wallace looks to continue to hear some idiots. That's uh, a bit hard and short, but a good play over there. Is the innings. They walk away with. Three runs, three hits, two errors. Two left on. That's 13 to 1 going to the bottom of the fifth. Cardinals hold them here. That'll be it for the, uh, for the second half of this double header. 13 to 1 Cardinals. Play. Nice pickoff move over there. Almost got it. First at bat, he put one off the. Uh, she wall. tried to hit the. She tried to hit the flagpole out there. What she tried to do. And almost an amazing catch by McKnight. McKnight ran into the wall. There's another play. Home run cut. Wallace is going to try to get there. Barely makes the catch. We didn't hear that a little bit. Yeah, well. And the wind did bring it back a little bit. I don't know about that, but got over there quick. That makes the out. Got a home run cut by Key. One out here for the Lady Panthers. This is the center field game, Patterson. Patterson, I'm glad. And we are back to work. She tries to bunt. Misses for the first strike. And the Lake Panthers trying to manufacture some kind of offense here. And the 0 1 3 are fun again. The ball skips around to go for Reed. Damon will advance to second on the pass ball. What a 
comes out. And, and a bone attempt is missed. One and two. One and foul. Smith gets the win, 60 total pitches, only 11 of the balls. 
Yeah, yeah, excellent, excellent night. She kept the ball low, she let it be in two. That's right, the VR had another good night too. So. Glad you all led the way with how many hits? Three hits? On the evening, yeah. Yeah, nine, nine hits. Hit. Well, seven or eight hits, I don't know. A bunch. And a walk, so. I believe she was eight for nine with a walk, so. Good night for her. Get over our, all, all night for the late party. We'll be, Brock, we'll be having the game at Gravit, right? Yes. On Friday night. So try to make it out to Gravit, Cardinal fans. Or, uh, or just uh, keep us up on, uh, on the live stream. All right. Have a good night, folks.